actually nice because displacement is really easy to find. I'm just finding the area to the curve. So let's break this up into chunks. I'm going to do a trapezoid here. I'll do a trapezoid there. I'll do a rectangle. Trapezoid. Triangle. Triangle. I hate triangles. I hate triangles. I love trapezoids. So this one. Showing your work like this and labeling it is the best way to do it. Okay. Although I really haven't seen an extended response group that actually have a graph. Okay. Here, let's do one half. The height is two. two. Base is six plus four. So I end up getting ten. ten. This is a rectangle. Six by four. So I end up getting Trapezoid here, what's the height? Four. Bases is four plus three, so I end up getting 14. This is one half, what's its base? Two. And its height is, so I end up getting three. This is one big, I see people split this up all the time, but this is one big triangle, correct? I see people split that up right here all the time. I don't know why, but. So one half, what's my base? <coughs> the height is three. So I end up getting but really it's negative twelve. It is below the curve. That is the big difference between part A and part B in this question. Because if I want the displacement now, I include the negative. So let's add these up. That'll give me 18 plus 24 plus 4. Does that say 14? What does that say, 2? Plus 3 minus 12. So for part A, I'm going to take 47. That's how much it moved. But where did it start? 4. So really it is at... Do I have units here? Nope. No, we'll say it's meters. That's part A. Part B, total distance traveled. I'm almost doing the same thing. Except this is now plus 12, correct? So of subtracting 12. So if I go back to that 59 that these added up to be, add 12, and show some work. I know it's like simple, but show me what you're doing. Okay. I have 71 meters. Do not add the 4, because that's not what's being asked here, correct? I didn't ask where it is. I told it to travel, and it really moved to 71 meters. Questions? 